Today we are talking about safety. I mean the entire hour of the show is all going to be about safety and we are going to start in the kitchen. That's where we all gather. So here with the rules we need to know to prevent foodborne illness or as she describes it, navigating the kitchen so you won't die. Please welcome home economist Marilyn Smith. <laughs> Have you talked about the fact that you need to stay alive in the kitchen? If you do this, that, or the other thing, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. Because you know what? I have three favorite F words. Fiber, food waste, <laughs> and food safety. <laughs> I'm telling you. I was scared there for oh, a moment. I'm like, which ones? Which <laughs> ones are you going to say? Gonna say? <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. So... You know what? You can all you can give a dinner to ten people, and two people can get really sick, and the other eight are okay. Right. And it's based on your immune system. So uh, we really have to be really alert for food safety with little kids, elderly, pregnant yes. women, and anyone with a compromised immune system. And that could even be you just have a really bad cold, all the way to you know going through chemotherapy. Totally. So we have to be really really diligent. And in the United States, about three thousand people a year die from food poisoning. That is. It's That's staggering. a high number. It's staggering. And in Canada, we have the same kinds of numbers, but yeah. it's like different because of the proportion of the, of the uh, population. Got it. So, okay. So, it starts in your kitchen. It starts in the kitchen. Okay, there are four pillars. Yes. Here they are. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. Okay. All right. So now we're going to talk about clean because that's my that's, that's kind of my one. mantra. It's my mm -hmm. big baby. So you never touch food unless you've washed your hands before and after. Yeah. And it's not like da 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 da. It's like soap. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Yeah. All the way through. All the way through. Sing Rinse the whole really well. song. The whole song. Yeah. You can say happy birthday to anybody you want. You can do it as Marilyn Monroe <laughs> if you want. It's you always can. fun. I do that all the time, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> anyway, and then you dry your hands on. A separate cloth that's in your kitchen. Okay. So I hang this on the right underneath my sink. Okay. You don't yeah. you don't dry your hands on the tea towels. Got it. Don't. Okay. So off. this is just for yes. the drying of, of the, the hands. hands. Right. Yep. Now the next thing is we've talked about this ad nauseum, but I love talking about it. Is it a I sponge? Know what you're gonna say. Or is it a dish, <laughs> don't a use cloth? sponges. Don't use a sponge. And the reason is is that bacteria likes moisture and mm -hmm. darkness. And inside of this sponge. They're having a party, <laughs> and so and and you can't you can't dis unless you boil them. And people yeah. go, well, I put them in my dishwasher. Your dishwasher is not boiling your dishes. Trust me. What about the microwave? Uh, well, you can, but then you're going to wreck the integrity that you could do that. Yeah. But uh, no, just don't, don't use do them. it. Just okay. don't do just it. Just don't do it. They're just everybody. a bacteria party ground. Okay. So, so what should we be using, using if we're ditching our sponges? Thank you. A clean dishcloth every single day. My sister made me these. Aren't that sweet? I give her a little shout oh, out. That's lovely. Uh, but anyway. I clean one every day. Okay. Every day. And what, how are we cleaning them? You're putting you've got them in the laundry. That. Yep. Or you wash them in hot soapy water and then air dry them. And it's the drying because once again, bacteria likes moisture and dark. Right. And these are too skinny to be dark. Okay. Okay. And then always a clean tea towel every single day too. I have been to some people's friends. I, well, I won't mention the name. Say it. Say it. <laughs> say it. Dish. And it's like, oh, your dishcloth stinks. <laughs> Okay, look, if it's stinking, it's way past bacteria. Okay, right. all right. All right, now the <laughs> next thing those. you have to worry about is the counter. Yes. All right, now there are a lot of um, natural cleaners out there. This is vinegar, doesn't work. Um, mm -hmm. It cleans your kitchen, but it doesn't disinfect your kitchen. Mm. So you have to look for something that says, and this, this one has, you have to look for it says kills 99% of the uh, bacteria. Got but it. that's only if you leave it on for a minute at least. Mm -hmm. So one to two minutes. So spray, go do something, mm -hmm. and then uh, you're going to wipe it off. Now I do with paper towels, yep. uh, and then I just throw them out. If you're going to use a dishcloth, that it can only use for that, and then into the laundry. Got it. Now these, all these, you can spend money on, or you can make your own, which is three cups of water and one teaspoon of bleach. And it works. And it works totally. Mm -hmm. Actually, Health Canada says that's what you should do. So okay, it good. Costs nothing. Excellent. Okay, now the next thing is, uh, when you're washing your, rinsing your vegetables, and this is really important, yes. a lot of people are using dish soap. To Don't. clean the vegetables? Yeah. And okay. you know what, you're leaving a, a soap residue on it, and the best thing you can do you're is use... You're using dish soap then. Okay. Okay. I never yeah. thought about doing it that way. Well, I didn't either, but mm -hmm. I mean, people email me stuff all the time, and it's okay. like, okay, how am I going to say this? <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Stop so it. So you, you, <laughs> you, you need a brush, okay? And this is good for brushing. You would actually wash and, and, and do the squash, yeah. because when you get the knife to pierce it, you would be pushing in the bacteria. Right. Okay, and that applies to even an avocado, obviously fruit and vegetables. Even an avocado? Yeah, because you're cutting the knife through. Okay. And like somebody was in the store going, a chew, yeah. and then, 
you know, okay, good. Oh, All right, okay. That's true. Little things to remember. Wash <laughs> your can opener every single time. Yeah. Wash your straw out every mm -hmm. single time. Use the reusables. Reuse the reusables. Mm -hmm. uh, high water is going to get off, not low water, so the up high, right? Okay. And then uh, washing out your uh, your your lunch kit and your grocery bags. All right. Okay. Grocery then, bags are something I've been failing on, so wash them out every wash time. Wash them out, yeah. Yeah. All right, then you get them home and you have to separate. Okay, yes. which leads to, I'm just going to get this out of the way. You yeah. need a separate cutting board for fruits and vegetables and um, meat and poultry and all that. Mm -hmm. So they can be wood, they can be one of these guys, which apparently can go in the dishwasher. I just always scrub it. Yeah. But having separate ones. And then you separate your food. So if you don't okay. have a meat drawer, and a lot of people put a whole bunch of things in their meat drawer, don't do that. You'll die. Just meat. Um, <laughs> just meat, okay? The meat drawer is for meat. The meat drawer is for meat. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, if you've got cheese in your meat drawer, which I've seen a lot of people do, mm -hmm. then if you get another container to put your meat in on the bottom shelf so that you're not, like, because they, these could drip and then that's basically cross contamination yes. too. And the yes. other one, the big tip is that if I'm going to cook anything on the grill or whatever, I would use a separate, so I'm going to put those on the grill with these tongs and that plate, but I would never, mm -hmm. ever, ever put the cooked ones back on there. No, you <laughs> will die. Anyway, and so you would use clean tongs on a clean plate. Right. And that's going to help you in the separate <laughs> it rhymed. category. Yeah, there so you do go. you even go to people's houses anymore? <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, uh, when we go to a, you know, like a barbecue a, oh, or yeah, a potluck. Or, or, oh, yeah, it's like, don't eat this, <laughs> don't eat that, don't eat that. Okay, you're safe on this one. Oh, yeah. Do not touch the shrimp. No. It's been out in the sun for two hours. Thank don't you, die. man.